Hello, and welcome to the Daily Reflections from St Mary Magdalene with St Martin's Church on Wednesday the 1st of July. If you haven't read the readings for today already, they should be on the screen in front of you now. Our psalm today represents a very familiar feeling to a Christian. Sometimes we feel God has forgotten us. Sometimes we feel that we are putting in all this effort to try to follow him, and there isn't even a hint of acknowledgement. It's not like we need gratitude. We know that God doesn't owe us that. But a nod of encouragement would be so helpful to let us know we're on the right track. I'm sure this is how the remnant of God's followers in Israel felt in much of the book of Judges, and particularly in our passage today. All that Jotham had warned in our passage yesterday when he told the fable of the trees has come to pass. The people of Shechem have made someone wholly inappropriate their king, and they have come to hate him. So in sin upon sin, they decide to rebel against him too, and he destroys them. But in doing that, he is himself killed as well. But God does not forget his people. Sometimes it feels like it. Sometimes we can't hear him at all, but that doesn't make it true. The psalmist concludes by reminding himself of all that God has done for Israel. We know that God does not change. He keeps his promises forever. So if he has been with us in the past, he is still with us now. If we're in a difficult situation and we can't hear God, it's very hard. But we can trust that he will prevail, either now or in the eternity that we will spend with him. The parable that Jesus tells in our Luke passage points to that eternity. It seems a bit of an odd story, but Jesus isn't encouraging us to commit fraud. He's telling us to focus on what matters for our future. And when Jesus talks about our future, he means our eternal future. He's saying, focus on God, serve him, because once you're dismissed from the world, God is the only one who matters for you. One of the things that takes us away from God serving the world, our present concern, rather than looking to our future with service of God, is our attitude to wealth. If we treat it as our own, then our focus is on the present. But if we treat it as God's and use it for him, then we are focused on eternity.